I had been there with a film before, um, but then to hear the stories of how a comic book had never been there, is, that's what people are telling me. And so, is that true? Yeah, so it was cool to like, to do that, so yeah, thank you. Okay, show. Berserker. <laughs> the guy who runs the show came up to us and said how excited he was because it had never been about that in that hall. So it was a real defining moment in the history of the San Diego Comic Con. It is Con. called Comic Con. I know. <laughs> you would think. Keanu, would I was about to go. It's called Comic Con. <laughs> <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. Now, you guys are going to fill me in a little bit because I've been in this, in the, we're at a hotel. Um, now, you guys just came off the panel. What There was an exciting, very exciting announcement we're going beyond the comic we are expanding what is up yeah you know uh, i've been working with the publisher boom studios uh and they had a vision for the comic book and and off of the readership and the enthusiasm for everyone's work you know um we've had some other opportunities so you know we got to uh we're gonna try and make a film with netflix thank you for that and um you know, Boom has reached out to the anime, Japanese anime, anime company called Production IG, and Random House is going to help us try and, you know, um, have, a, have a, a novel. And so it's, I, I think it's, it's really exciting for me and I think everyone involved that we're going to be able to tell different kinds of s berserker stories. Yes. You know? What can you say about the anime? What, what is it going to cover? I don't, think you know. I don't know anything, but I, <laughs> but I'll say I so did. So we'll give the mic to him. <laughs> I did. Look, I looked at something that uh, looked amazing, which we can't, I'm not going to say anything about yeah, it. But it, yeah, what it did, it, but it, it. what was cool it is was to see them them take our thing and then turn it into something like similar but very different, you know, and like just the look of it in the in the visuals. Yeah. I think <laughs> it's like it's like watching evolution. Mm -hmm. Like for you know, evolution takes millions of years, but in this case, it's like seeing it happen before your eyes. You know how it's just taking on a life of its own and growing and growing and growing into this uh, and taking different forms. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, and then the movie as well. What stage is that in? Screenwriter Matson Tomlin uh, tells me he's halfway through. And he sent me page one, but then I already gave him a note on page one. <laughs> Said I'm not sending it to Keanu um, anymore. <laughs> yeah, but but you know it's, it's a real collaborative process, and um, you know, but Matson's gonna write it, and uh, he has ideas, and um, I'm excited to see what they do. I think that speaks to also how much you care about the characters and the stories. Um, you, can you just talk a little bit about what this means to you? Um, I just asked like an Oprah question, so I'm you sorry. You did. I'm gonna, uh, can I, I'll just cry. <laughs> yeah. What if I just cry? Um, yeah. I see that. <laughs> <laughs> what has been your favorite thing about just being a part of this? No, pro no, these I projects? mean, it's a really extraordinary, extraordinary opportunity, and I'm super grateful for it. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And, I, and I'm grateful, and it's cool that what we're creating is giving other artists who are enthusiastic about the story, a chance to be storytellers. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, I'm really super grateful, and, and I think it's cool that, that that can happen with a piece of something that came out of my you know, imagination. Yeah, and for you guys as well, same question, just kind of reflect, I'm sure you've been able to reflect on it a little bit, especially being here. Well, he just said something that, you know, that is very true for me, and, particular if I'm going to talk personally about it is that I've been in this business for over 30 years 35 years really and um, it's to have this happen and uh, you know as sort of a punctuation at this far into my career and to know that it's going to influence a generation of other artists after this makes me feel it really just defines my career in a way I just hadn't expected, you know? Just like I've said before, it's like a bolt from the blue. And, and uh, it's, a, it's the most gratifying feeling I think anyone could have. So it, it, that's all you could ask for. Yeah. And I think uh, when we started this thing, I, I just love working on I love doing what we do. And then when I was working with Keanu, I was like, oh, I recognize immediately somebody who is the same and just loves the work, <laughs> like loves creating, loves the write, loves to come up with stories. And uh, like, that's all that really matters. So I, I think uh, I, I love 
running into somebody like that who enjoys the process, you know? <laughs> you love, yeah, we Whoa, we bumped into read, each other. Yeah. I was like, hey, you want to do a comic? <laughs> I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was kind of like that. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, how, how did, tell, me the, tell me the origin story. They, uh, do you want me to say it? Or yeah, you want, yeah, it's yeah, a, it's you a, a boom back studios end. publisher story. Yeah, yeah. I only know my part. They called me up and they're like, hey, can I ask an idea for a story? I was like, well, do you want to come out and have a meeting? I was like, well, what's the idea? <laughs> no offense or anything, but I was like, I, like, I want to do, like, what can I actually contribute to this thing? And they pitched it to me, and then, and the, but they're like, well, let him do it. Let him pitch it because he has more, there's more to it. And so I came in, and we were in that room, and then he pitched this thing to me. I was like, oh, my God, the, like, the, the, the idea and where it came from and where, what he is and everything just, like, um, spurred my imagination. And then we, I think, that day, we're like, it needs to be 12 issues, <laughs> you know? And then we just, whatever, rolled from there. Yeah. He came, Keanu says to me, called me up around Christmas time. He's like, hey, Gurney. He's like, we're going to do a double size last it's issue. Not <laughs> you sound exactly like him. <laughs> I'm like, great. <laughs> so uh, it's all good for me. You know, I don't, you know, it's going to be sad if it ever ends, you know, on this end of it, but uh, it's going to keep going in other it's directions. Immortal. So it's immortal. It's an immortal saga. Well, that that so was no my next what. question. In, in, in terms of the story, is there, is there an ending? Is there, is this something that y you guys are going to be doing for as long as you can? You know, we're going to try and and the 12 issues of the story in a satisfying way. I mean, I mean, we can only tell the story that we've always tried to do something that we're interested in, but we also think about, you know, who could be reading it. <laughs> Excuse me. So um, we got some twists, some surprises, some cool developments. Um, and then where it goes is, you know, uh, the publisher Boom has, you know, given us the opportunity potentially to do some specials or annuals, as they're called, or one-shots, mm -hmm. so that we could do, like, you know, 54-page kind of berserker stories. Yes, cool. You know, hopefully this team can do one, and hopefully other teams can... It? Interested? <laughs> yeah, call the end. Like, we'll Ryan you to the end. 75 years young. Get back in there. <laughs> Get back in the cave, yeah. Garney. I think... It, Here's some <laughs> Draw. Lastly, when are we getting KeanuCon? A what? KeanuCon. Anyway, so this interview's <laughs> over. Thank you. Uh, Thank you all so much. I appreciate okay. it.